Assalamu alaikum guys this is me Shahyar Mubarak on my channel Hassan Ali with another episode of my take I hope everyone is doing fine and as this year is about to end it's entering it's in last phase like uh, from 21st to 31st then we will have a new year 2024 a new hope a new dawn a new sunrise a new year and hope for peace for everyone in the world well get back to the issue the issue of gaza war as the death toll of the people of gaza or the poor civilians of gaza who have been the target of idf's bombing from air to sea from ground since 7th october 2023 like there was nothing wrong for the people of gaza before 7th october 2023 after 7th of october 2023 they face all troubles because how the people of israel and many other western media representatives and the analysts especially the pro israeli analysis they often say that there was nothing wrong before 7th of october in this world like every bad thing happen when hamas attack those israeli neighborhoods that uh, that southern part of israel it is like that hell was broken that day or the de- angel of death was freed by lord to go do whatever he likes after 7th october 2023 the angel of death which is freed after 7th of october 2023 by lord it seems like that it's only been freed for the people of palestine for those poor civilians of palestine for those who were already living a difficult life before 7th october 2023 for those whose kid from the age of 2 before 7th october 2023 for those people who are living in gaza 2.3 million from age of 2 they have stunted growth they were not growing like a normal children because they didn't have enough of food enough of the vitamins enough of the minerals that those young bodies required they have stunted growth it is not happening just now that they are facing starvation they are facing no medical treatment they are facing no medical facilities they are not they are facing uh, unhygienic environment no cleaning less there is nothing left in gaza right now but before 7th of october 2023 they were stunted growth of newborn babies in gaza because they don't have enough resources their lives were already difficult 7th october of 2023 just made sure that world knows that there is an a place in this world which is an open air jail and which is under the siege of israeli state israeli forces from last 19 years 7th of october 2023 remind the world that 2.3 million people of gaza are living in the jail of israel where the warden israel where the jailer israel whenever they want they launch a war against these people they can stop their food they can stop their aid they can turn off their electricity they can turn off their water tap they can turn off their internet connections there is nothing go there is not there can nothing go in in gaza without israel's approval and nothing can came out of gaza without israel's approval this shows in which situation the people of gaza were living So 7th of October is a day of freedom for the people of Gaza. 
Yes, they are living a very miserable life right now. But at least they know that they are dying now. They don't have to live on the crumbs. They don't have to wait to see the air trucks get in. They know that they are not coming now. The world is not coming to save them. But still, people say 7th of October made Gaza a graveyard. Gaza was already a graveyard. Gaza was already a graveyard. Which, so now, the people in the world knows that there are how many people are dead in Gaza. There are 20,000 dead people in Gaza right now. And more than 8,000 are still missing. And whenever this war stops, or if this war ever stops, you will find this number of 20,000 reach 100,000 or couple of 100,000 because the bombing, the starvation, the diseases, it is unimaginable that how many people actually have been killed by IDF and how many will be die because of starvation and different diseases and this harsh winter. Today, Israeli army has done proud to their leader Ben Gavir, or the first uh, Prime Minister of Israel. They have bulldozed a cemetery, a graveyard, a Kabristan in Urdu, as we call. A place where people rest. It is the only place where we can sleep and no one will come to wake us up. We will sleep calmly in a little house of our own. A six feet deep house. A house, a house or every house in that place have a stone in which your name is written. Every house has its own encrypted stone with a name. Today, they would have made Satan proud as they bulldozed a cemetery in eastern Gaza. They exhumed bodies, they exhumed bodies out, they crushed the bodies, they, mul- uh, they mutilated the bodies, they desecrated the bodies, and they desecrated those bodies which were freshly buried. It shows their mindset. It shows what actually Israel or Israeli state is capable of. And it actually also tells you why Adolf Hitler was in so much hate of Jews. Because war happens, war crimes happen. We see many inhuman behavior from humans. But it is for me the first I have heard that any regular army bulldozed a graveyard. It shows the sick mindset of Israeli state. It shows that there is no morality in these Jews, in these Zionist terrorists. It shows that they are not human beings. They are far worse create, create, uh, creation or creature than human beings. Humans still have some ethics. They are not human. They are worse kind. They are not even animals. 
animals are better than israelis animals are better than these zionist jews they can be only called the followers of lucifer they are more than animals they are worse creators they are worse creation <laughs> they are worse creatures and they are not animals they are far worse than animals they are not even vampires they are something which is worse than vampire they are not even satan they are a very bad animal or a mad dog who has been left out of the cage <coughs> in another tragic story of today i have heard on different news portals that israeli army has now executed 11 palestinian men in front of their families and it happened in gaza first they killed the men and then they what they did actually they raided a building in gaza city they rounded up all the men stripped them in their underwear even to the children little children boys and segregated women from them and took them to the fourth floor and asked them to stay there and then they took the men to the compound downstairs and then they opened the firing and they kill 11 men in front of their families their family was watching from the fourth floor after killing those men before leaving the israeli army threw a grenade on the fourth floor which resulted in killing of one young girl and a woman and many other injured it shows that they are not only killing now they are actually taking pleasure in it because incidents of those two men who were chased by israeli soldiers and then they were shot and then their pictures were taken their videos were made and these incidents like that they rounded up all the men rounded up women it separately held them cuffed them and then take taken the men down and shoot them it seems like that that sick israel is or this sadistic approach of israel shows that that they are enjoying killing the people of palestine only allah can help them because unsc has not yet voted and it's thursday night tonight and there are truce process of truce going on in egypt and in europe but what guarantee is that that this truce or this ceasefire will hold Hamas is 100% right that we are not going to free any prisoner and then you start bombing us again the only solution is that america ask this mad dog israel to stop otherwise they are not going to stop and america is the only 
being who can put this dog or can chain this dog to the corner nobody else in this world can and if america can't then we we'll have to wait for imam mahdi and sayyidina isa alaihi salam please do like and subscribe my channel long live islam long live the people of palestine long live the brave people of palestine long live the freedom movement of palestine long live hamas long live the resistance movement of palestine from the river to the sea palestine palestine allah hafiz